Hello, and welcome to Team Center. This is Team Center 12.2, and what you're seeing is Active Workspace, which is a full, complete browser based client to Team Center. You'll notice that there's a series of static menus on the left that allows me to quickly reference the information that I have. There's an inbox button that can take me to my assignments so that I can perform tasks that have been assigned to me. I can create a new part, I can create a new document. Team Center can manage a wide variety of data formats, anything from office files such as Word or Excel to viewable files such as PDF or JPEG or movie files. I can also very quickly look for my favorites that I've created for myself and existing folders that I too may have created for myself. But let's take a look at some data a little bit more closely. So up here is the search screen. I may not, in some cases, have a full part number to search for. So Team Center allows me to search for fragments of a part number. In this case, I'll put in 0176. Team Center shows that four different items match my search criteria. Team Center uses a Java-based search engine to perform real-time indexing and very fast search results. The part that I'm interested in is this one right here. So I'm going to hover over the open button and I'm going to click on it and it'll take me straight to this part. You'll notice that there's some additional information that's now viewable. There's a name field, there's a description, there's a release status where I can see what the status is of this particular part. And there's the release date. Also attached here is a PDF drawing. Team Center is presenting it to me in thumbnail view. If I want to see a larger screen or a larger image, I can go to full screen. Not only that, I have the ability to perform and view markups. So in this particular case, I see that there's a markup already there. This part is probably part of a change process. And I can see who and when the markup was applied. I could add additional markups myself. But let's take a look uh, a little bit more closely at what's attached to this particular part revision. We can see that there's three files here, the PDF that we were just looking at. There's a UG master, which is the NX model. And then there's a direct model, sometimes referred to as a JT. It's a 3D data format, which corresponds to an ISO standard. All CAD applications are capable of creating these files. They're used for visualization, collaboration, CAD data exchange, and they can also contain product and manufacturing information such as PMI. Let's take, a look, let's take a little bit closer look at that. If I hit the 3D button here at the top, Team Center Visualizer opens up and allows me to look at this file a little more closely. Here's the, the image. I can do this all without a CAD license. I'm in the, visualiz the, visualiz the visualizer right now, and there's a series of buttons that are available to me across the top. I can take measurements, I can query, I can perform section cuts, and all of this is available right here in the web browser. Now, if I choose to look at this particular part revision in its CAD format, I can do that very easily as well. I can come over here to the right, I can say open in NX. Immediately, I'm taken to the NX application, and I'm shown the information in its native format. I'm shown the drawing here, and then here's the actual model. Notice that there's a, there's a little padlock here indicating that this part is read-only. It's been released. It's carrying a status of release, so I can't change it. If I attempt to, Team Center is going to warn me that the part is read-only, and I may not be able to save my changes. So again, I get the part is read-only. I'll click OK. I'll acknowledge it. And I'm going to apply, and I made a change, put a tiny little chamfer right there. But what happens when I go to save? If I hit the save button, Team Center says, well, you can't save the A, but here are your actions that, that are available. If I double click here, Team Center will automatically give me the next available revision, which in this case is B. Revision sequences can be modified. And if I click OK, and now NX will allow me to work continue to work on this particular part, but now I'm doing so at the B revision. I've applied my change. I'm going to click on the Save button. And then Team Center has now performed a successful change 
if I rotate this ever so slightly, you can see that I've applied a small chamfer to this particular part and I've saved it back to Team Center. So if I come back to Team Center and I perform my search again, now I can see that right here is the B revision that I just created and saved to Team Center. And if I go over here to the 3D model, the JT that's been created, you'll notice that the change has now been reflected. So this demonstration shows the tight integration that exists between NXCAD and Team Center. Thank you very much. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.